I think some have already asked me in my uh, YouTube, but uh, that is not at all there after this second service. Welcome to DDM. So today I'm actually going for my second service at uh, 7,500 kilometers. And uh, <laughs> I am actually in a bit of a hurry because as you see in my display, it says uh, 420 in the evening and I am going for a second service right now. See, I was like uh, uh, thinking to go to my uh, hometown, Coimbatore, in my car. But then suddenly I decided, so I'm going to my hometown and I'll be staying there for almost a month. So if that is the plan, how I'm going to live without my bike? And then I thought, yeah, Hyderabad to Coimbatore, it's only 1000 kilometers, right? I mean like... Why should I not take the bike? I should take the bike. This bike can definitely handle 1000 kilometers for sure. I have myself done 600-700 uh, kilometers at a single stretch. So I think 1000 should be doable. So what I thought, immediately as the service is anyway coming close by, I thought I will take the bike for the second service and then I will start my ride. So that's the reason I had to call the KTM service center right now and I had to tell them that I need the service now and you do something to get me the service now. And those guys like you know was really really helpful. They said sir bring your bike immediately. Let's do the service now. And I was like super happy, super excited. I just took my helmet, <laughs> fixed the GoPro and uh, I'm there on the bike going for the second service. Pretty excited I should say. And uh, and how many kilometers have I actually covered so far? So if you see the display, it's like uh, 2,935. And one thing everybody knows is that in 2,935, nobody does their second service. Well, that is not the correct reading. Uh, the thing is that when my bike was at uh, 3,100 kilometers, I think so. I had to change the odometer so because of that uh, gear indicator issue and uh, also the fuel range issue so because of that I had to change the odometer and then after that all my readings got uh, reset to zero and since then I have driven only like 2935 so again if you add these both it's coming very close to 6000 kilometers and the service due is at uh, 7500 kilometers and uh, or i have to wait for a couple of more months for the time to end but i thought as anyway i'm planning for a long ride why don't i get this service done earlier and then take the bike because it doesn't matter 1000 kilometers doesn't really matter so i thought i will do it right now so that's the reason I'm going to the Kondapu service station now. And uh, talking about the issues, do I have any issues? Mm, I have only one issue with this bike. The thing is that uh, these clutch levers, right? Last time I asked them to uh, reduce the clutch play and uh, keep it at a level. So I, I don't find a lot of slack in there. So that's what I wanted them to do and uh, that was a bit different from how the bike arrives from the factory and then what happened is once that adjustment was done the slack was fine everything else was fine but there was a slight jerk every time i do the uh, gear shifts one it was coming from this lever cable itself like if i press uh, the clutch lever there used to be a very very slight jerk when i press that clutch lever so that was there and uh, apart from that uh, sometimes when i'm doing the gear shift gear shift itself does become like slightly hard and that's because of this uh, clutch adjustment so i thought you know let's uh, tell that today when they are doing the service and also get that thing done so with that said i don't really have any other issues apart from this in this motorcycle everything else has been uh, really perfect i had no issues with the mileage i had no issues with the bike i had no issues with anything as far as duke 250 is concerned so what i will do is that i will cut the video here and then I will record it once again when I have reached the KTM service center. So we have reached the KTM service center and uh, it's already 4.30. Pro second service like MMO today? I do. Ah. Ah. Okay. Uh-huh. 
సరే 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 ఎస్టిమేటెడ్ కాస్ట్ టూ థౌసండ్ లెట్ సి లెట్ సి వేనా ఓకే నాట్ కంప్లీట్లీ గాన్ బట్ స్టిల్ ఐ థింక్ వీ షుడ్ రీప్లేస్ దిస్ looks like this has a lot of sand in it so this is the bash plate which actually protects your sensor వస్తాయి కదా అదే ఉన్నా సరే సరే ఉంటాయ సరే 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 okay so we have been done with our second service so what are the things which are done to the motorcycle so they have changed the fuel filter they have changed the air filter air filter i don't think it typically comes in the second service but they have changed it because uh, they showed it to me and it didn't look uh, really well it was all dirty and stuff and it's a paper filter so i mean like paper filter you can't do anything so i just you know told them to change it that costed me like 258 rupees i guess and then uh, fuel filter air filter engine oil obviously this comes as part of the service and then uh, i think they also changed the drain plug then what else yeah so these are the things which were changed and then uh, they did add some coolant coolant was slightly lesser so they did add that and they did clean the brake pads for me both uh, front and rear because i told them that i'll be traveling for 1000 uh, kilometers at one stretch so i asked them to do that and they did that no extra charges as such so apart from that nothing was really done and uh, the bill came up to 1179 so that was the exact bill amount and this includes the additional element or air filter which i changed so without that it would uh, cost uh, 258 rupees lesser because there was no service or labor cost incurred with that so yeah so it's only the 258 rupees which you have to minus in case you don't want to change the air filter but um, i would recommend personally to change the air filter every time your vehicle goes for a service because the thing is that uh, air filters are pretty cheap and also these air filters are actually paper air filters and paper air filters you know cleaning does not make sense you do get uh, foam air filters and you also get cloth air filters if you have any of that in your motorcycle then you can just you know um, clean it and uh, it should be fine but for this no so about the uh, clutch thing i did tell them and they said uh, if you really want it to be adjusted then we can adjust it and um, at the last moment i was like you know let's not do any of that because we are going a, a bit far so i didn't really want to uh, you know uh, play with the clutch lever so this clutch lever is like pretty much fine for uh, operation i didn't really want to uh, adjust it just only because i'm going long so maybe after going home or uh, something i can probably adjust it i mean like anybody can adjust it you don't actually need a mechanic to do that so i left it like that but one thing i should tell is that the vehicle has become really really smooth and also the noise which uh, typically comes from your ktm when you do the shifts right that has marginally reduced like i cannot hear that at all i cannot feel that at all so whenever you make that uh, gear change i think some have already asked me in my uh, youtube asking like you know i am i'm getting some you know uh, sounds when i'm trying to change the gear like tuck tuck and then the vehicle just uh, jerks and all that 
but uh, <laughs> that is not at all there after the second service i mean like this is uh, a lot more slick right now the gearbox so i think this should be because of the oil change and nothing else and i did look at the old oil the old oil didn't look uh, that bad i mean like the old oil was uh, just old <laughs> nothing else i mean like uh, i really wanted to look at the oil because uh, sometimes the mud and everything you know just enters your uh, oil sometimes very rare conditions and um, sometimes some engine particles also do break because it's all aluminium so i did want to check both of that and uh, it wasn't there i did ask the service advisor also to check it and he also confirmed that there is no issue with the oil there are no contaminants and also the viscosity is just fine so i don't think there is any problem there and as the vehicle is lot smoother now i think i will have a peaceful ride in this 1000 kilometers so yeah uh that's it for this video guys i hope you now know that what happens in your uh, second service and what are the things which get changed what are the things to look into and what is the overall cost and i hope you liked it and found it useful so i'll see you next week guys with another video till then stay safe and ride safe bye bye